Hola amigos, and welcome to another episode of Inside the Ropes with Coach Mario. Coach Mario, owner and head coach of Warriors Fry Boxing Academy here in Miami, Florida. Hello guys, um, just found out some information that might um, seem legit. My son, uh, who is a major in the U.S. Army, and he's stationed um, in upstate New York, just called me up and said, hey dad, Get ready, pack your bags for June. You're coming up to New York. Apparently, there is some kind of negotiation between Teofimo Lopez and uh, Subriel Matias for a fight um, during the weekend of New York City's Puerto Rican Day Parade. I, <laughs> I did not know anything about this, and that is the reason why I'm, uh, I, I did a little bit of research. I, I saw on X or... In other words, um, Twitter, uh, a tweet from Michael Benson that uh, states the following. Teofimo Lopez versus Uriel Matias has reportedly been discussed in substantive talks. It's claimed the IBF and WBO super lightweight welterweight champion of the world or super lightweight champion of the world title unification could be eyed for June 7th or 8th on the Puerto Rican Day Parade weekend in New York City according to Chris Mannix. All right, guys, let's hope this is true. If it, it is true, I'm going to start uh, packing my bags, getting ready to attend. I will probably not be in, in ringside, guys, but I'll be up there in the nosebleed section. But I, I'm, hopefully, if God uh, permits, I will be there for this fight, which is a, a, an Excellent matchup of styles, excellent matchups of talent. Teofimo Lopez is a one hell of a boxer, and so is Subriel Matias with his relentless, come forward, aggressive, hard knuckle punching, devastating fighter. That I can't wait for this to uh, to come to fruition if it's true. There's also some other news on on uh, that I saw on YouTube where. Uh, Bill Haney states that uh, he made some kind of uh, uh, try to reach out to some representative of uh, Team Matias and they were asking for four million dollars. I don't know if that is accurate or just another strategy of Bill Haney to uh, uh, to promote his son. Uh, there's a lot of options for Devin Haney. Obviously, he, he had a great, excellent A plus performance. On Saturday evening versus Regis Progre, he's one of the top dogs in that division. I mean, this is the most exciting weight division in all boxing. We have some unbelievable talent there. I mean, I just can't wait for some of these matches to happen. It would be great. There's got, there would be some kind of a tournament uh, for the undisputed title at 140 pounds. I just can't wait to see some of these matches. Uh, so uh, 2024 seems like it's going to be one hell of a year for boxing. If any of these fights come to fruition, you know, Teofimo Lopez versus Subriel Matias, uh, uh, you know, Devin Haney versus the winner of that fight. I mean, this will be unbelievable year for boxing. 140 pounds has taken off. And uh, there's other other fights out there that I'm looking forward to. But anyway, guys, um, this is all for now. It's going to be a short video. I just want to let you know about the, this uh, latest news that, that I've been um, notified about, uh, I've been told about, and I just wanted to share that information with all of you. Maybe you guys know, uh, were aware of it before I was. But anyway, uh, just like to share. Let me know what you guys think, you know, who does Subriel Matias has a better chance of defeating? Uh, Teofimo Lopez or Devin Haney? Either one of these guys is a tough, tough hurdle to overcome. I don't care uh, what you guys, what some people might say that uh, that it's going to be a piece of cake. No, guys, this is not going to be a walk in the park. It's not a piece of cake. It's going to be a hard fight. Any of these three guys can take it. They all have different styles. Uh, uh, Teofimo Lopez is very athletic. Um, you know, Devin Haney, uh, high boxing IQ. 
Um, Subriel Matias, devastating, come forward, 100 something punches per round, you know, has, you know, hands of stone, hands of bricks, hammer hands, <laughs> the monster of Puerto Rico. I just can't wait, guys. This is going to be a very exciting year coming coming forward. Looking forward to all these matchups. Please tell me who you think uh, has the uh, the advantage in all these fights, the matchups, the styles. Uh, always like and subscribe, share with your friends. I really appreciate your, appreciate your support. Uh, but this is all for now, guys. So uh, until next time, hasta la vista. God bless you all and peace.